and I'm really excited to introduce to the stage, and hopefully you'll welcome him with some good clapping, Valentin Stauff. Very cool. It's, it's really cool to be here again. Uh, last year I missed the event, but I think it's, it's great to be back at the Oktoberfest. Uh, I have to say we had a great evening last night already. Um, and I'm looking forward, maybe there might be a, a mass delivered during my presentation because I asked for some beer. Um, so I think I'll take the next couple of, of, of minutes to tell you a little bit about our company, uh, where we, how we actually expanded to a million customers and where, where our vision is, is, is going to go to. Um, some of you might have seen my co-founder was on stage already for a short panel uh, a couple of minutes ago. Now I'll provide you a little bit more background. So what is N26 actually doing? Yeah? Um, so I think maybe some of you know we do currently in, uh, an out-of-home campaign in some of the major European cities. Uh, the hashtag we've chosen for this campaign is banking without the bullshit, so no bullshit banking. Uh, I think the idea is really to provide a great product. I don't think banking is, is, is complex and I don't think banking needs to be. So we said we want to actually build a bank that digital bank people build for digital bank people, and it is a real, really good to use product on the smartphone. And uh, I think that's what we've done, and that is, is one thing that has made us one of the strongest growing banks uh, across Europe, and uh, I think soon to be worldwide. Um, let's talk a little bit about what is actually our promise and what is our core value proposition that made it, made it possible to be one of the fastest growing banks in Europe. Um, I think, first of all, we have a different approach to banking. I think we said, and uh, that's also our mission, we want to build a bank. We are building a bank the world loves to use. Um, you could say, okay, that's easy for, for other products. You could create wine that people like to drink or beer. I think that's quite easy. I think building a bank that people actually love to use, we, we thought might be challenging. Um, and I think uh, we are every day working on, on, on something that people really like to use. And um, if you talk about N26 and if you, if you see how we've created our brand and are creating our brand, I think we try to be a, ba be a bank that is more a lifestyle company um, than only a bank that is a transaction booker. And you see that in all the products that we have. You see that in, in how we talk about our, our company. And I think it's also a cornerstone of us being selected by LinkedIn to be the first place to work in Germany uh, as a startup um, uh, because people also love to work with us. I think the second promise that we have is, besides creating a different uh, uh, a brand, is really a product promise that we give people. So we, we stand for the best user experience in retail banking. I still remember when we started uh, our company five and a half years ago, we called some banks up and asked them, especially in Germany, if they want to work together with us. And actually, no one, not, a, not a lot were answering the phones, and no one actually believed into us. I think uh, now, five years later, N26 is definitely standing for mobile banking in Europe and how you build a mobile bank. So if you go into any uh, board meeting of a Sparkasse or other, other bank in Germany also, I think worldwide, I think N26 and the user experience will be a topic. And how is that reflected? I think uh, basically we are, at the moment we already, I think, have, have five stars in most of the stores. Uh, but it means we have a very, very good rating. So if you compare that to, to other financial uh, uh, apps that are in the store, then they are normally uh, much weaker. So second promise is really the best user experience you can get for, for a banking product. And the third promise is, uh, you know, we want it to be transparent and we want it to be different in terms of how we think about pricing. And uh, so we said, okay, um, we, we stand for always a fair price. We stand for most of the time, and I think for 99% of the Germans, also a, a cheaper banking product than, than you're currently using. Why is that? Because basically, we build our product on the best infrastructure that you can have. We just recently built it. Uh, so there's much, much lower IT cost. We don't have a branch network. Uh, and that leads to, I think, a tenth of the cost uh, that we have, uh, only a fraction of what traditional banks see. And we can obviously forward that to our customers. And I think that's a cornerstone um, of our business model, that we really can undercut the price uh, um, very aggressively in all the markets that we're in. So it's three promises, actually, we built the company on. First, different brand, something you love to use, not something you hate to use. Uh, second thing is a great user experience. And third thing is really aggressively undercutting the price. And we do that consequently in all our markets. But where are we today? Uh, let's talk a little bit about our product. Um, I think uh, to give you a little bit of a, a look and feel of the product and how our bank and our app uh, uh, looks like, 
if you don't use it already. I think it's, it's a completely different thing. It more feels like using Spotify or using uh, Snapchat than, than opening a, a banking app. And I think uh, we're really focused on design. We've just recently been featured also by Apple. So if you, on the last presentation on the new iPhones, Apple also uh, um, uh, explained the Face ID function. And I think we were the background uh, pictures, so or the first one you see on the screen was actually the, the picture you can also find on the Apple website. Why do I say that? Because I think it's very important that you understand that a digital product is all about design. Yeah? And uh, people always ask me, what's a great user experience? I got my own banking app. I think it's, it's, uh, it's, you can make a difference if you're really focused on design. All of this has made us today, I think, the fastest growing uh, mobile bank on the European market um, um, uh, in all the markets that we're in. And we're currently in. Um, I think 17 markets across Europe. Uh, we are clear number one to any competition that is there. We're launching in the next couple of weeks also in the UK, um, which is uh, one of the most interesting markets uh, that is there, uh, I think, uh, from a European perspective. Um, on the map behind me, you see kind of the office locations that we have. And I think that's also an interesting thing on, on how you need to think about talent. And my co-founder already said, um, it's all about the people you hire, all about the talent you can attract. And um, we also figured out that we actually relocate 80% of the, the talent that we recruit. So our headquarters is in Berlin, but most of the people that we recruit we come from somewhere else. I think we have over 50 different nationalities. Our, be, our team today is uh, about 600 people. Um, and if you realize that all the great talent comes from all around the world, you need to, be, to, to choose cities that stand for something. So our headquarters in Berlin, I think it's you know, the digital city. Uh, it's, it's a great place to live. It's a German city. And then we thought about where should we open another office to accelerate our growth. So we, we chose ba Barcelona. And actually, in uh, September, we opened a, a new office in Barcelona, where we already have, I think, 30 people now. Uh, hopefully, by we'll be 50 by the end of the year. But you, you understand that the global talent market is, is, is really about where can I work, where is the living quality high, and what does the, the city stand for? And I think Barcelona is a very, very good extension to what we had before. Um, Away from the office locations, you also see a, an office in New York, a little bit further away. Uh, we have about 25 people in New York. Uh, why do we have that? Because our vision has changed. Our vision, ha our vision has changed in, in, in a way that we say today, actually, we, we see the opportunity to build a global bank with maybe 50 to 100 million customers. And I think you don't have global brands um, in, the, in, the financial, uh, in the financial world today in, in terms with one great digital product. So we've changed our vision. In the beginning was only Germany, Austria. Then it was Europe. Uh, now the next market is the UK. And the first quarter next year, we're going to the US. Uh, and then we'd like to do five to 10 markets outside of the US uh, or Europe. I think it's the time is right to do it globally. If you do it globally, you can actually hire the better engineers, you hire the better designers, and you can make that the global reach that you have actually an opportunity or a, a benefit for all the customers that you have. So I think N26, hopefully within the next five to 10 years, will be a global bank and a leader in, in mobile banking all around the world. Let's talk a little bit about, and I picked two things out of our, our product um, to show you a little bit on, 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 on how things can be different. First of all, uh, I think what you see here is, uh, is actually a feature that maybe some banks have in, in the one or the other way. But what we did is we made it as easy to open sub accounts as easy at, as opening a WhatsApp group. So what you see here is, is you can, on your account, open different uh, uh, groups. And you can simply, by drag and drop, put money in, into kind of these sub accounts that you have. I think that's uh, a feature that we released a couple of, of weeks ago. Um, it's going to be something that, that is, is core to what we're doing. Uh, a lot of you can, in the future, will be able to have cards on the different accounts. You, you will be able to have different account numbers on the different account, uh, accounts. So just to give you a little bit of a, a look and feel. I think now we have a, a short video um, to also uh, give you a little bit of a perspective of how we, we think different about banking products. So maybe you can play the video now.
cool, thank you. So I think uh, the idea here is again, yeah, giving our users flexibility and N26 is I think the, the most flexible bank account. I think we, we need to be the bank that is the first bank around the world that doesn't make people uh, to adjust their behavior to the bank account, but we want to be the bank account that adjusts uh, how it is and, and gives people the freedom to live their lives as flexible as they want. Another feature that we've just recently launched, uh, just to give you another example for, for how that works in daily life, um, is uh, our, our new web app. So you can also reach us. Obviously, we have a, a web interface as well. Uh, you, can, you can look at your balance and everything there. I think there are cool, two, two small things that I, I, I want to just uh, tell you, which already set us apart. And actually, all our users laughed when we released them. I was a little bit more skeptical. I thought maybe it's not so interesting. But we got so much positive feedback, so I want to call that out. So the one thing is we just introduced the black mode. So basically, what you can do on your, on your web interface, you can not just only see it in white, but you can also see it in, in black. And that really resonates with all our users. So you see how people are actually searching for uh, a little bit of innovation. You can already, by changing kind of the color of the, of the web interface, you're kind of the star in retail banking. And I think that's kind of uh, something that uh, where, where we are strong. I think the second thing is a little bit cooler um, is uh, we introduced a discrete mode on our website. So yeah, if, if you're in the office and uh, you don't want everybody to look at your screen and uh, see all the account balances and so on, you just click and all the, all the numbers are blurry. So you can still go through your account balances and so on, but with blurry numbers. We'll be also introducing this on the smartphone, where you, with just a simple wave uh, in front of the screen, uh, you can actually blur all the numbers. So if you want to do banking transactions on, uh, on the underground or somewhere else. I think that's the little features and the little things where people get excited. So I think summarizing, I think uh, I'm, I'm very proud to be one of the founders of N26. I think we have uh, gone from being very Europe-focused to a global company. We have a very simple promise of, uh, of having a different brand, being the best user experience, and also undercutting prices. Um, and I'm very excited to build this company further with my team and uh, with everybody who works at N26. Thank you very much. And I'm not sure if we have time for a couple of questions now. Uh, but for me, that's everything from my side. Excellent. Thank you, man. I appreciate it.